Hello there guys, Red Carudo here, and today I'm going to be doing a Minecraft server tutorial. I've had a few requests, um, and I'm going to be showing you using a, a craft bucket, or bucket, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, firstly, you're going to go into this link, which will be in the description of the craft bucket downloads, right here, right here. Buckets, similar, it's just, I don't really know the big difference between them, just craft bucket is the one you want uh, I've, or yeah so just click on that link in the description it will bring you to here and basically you want to download this is this is for any minecraft okay so in the title it might just say 1.5.1 .1, uh, but it's for any minecraft this works fine so it doesn't really matter so I'm going to be doing a few parts of this oh, no, go, but what are we doing? Ah, go back oh, come on Right, okay, so you want to click on the this top one, and it is a development build. You can, if you want, download a beta build or beta build, whatever you want to say. This is a recommended build, so basically they keep on releasing new builds with uh, latest fixes and bug changes. But I just generally download uh, the top one. Although it might be a bit risky uh, sometimes, but normally uh like ninety nine point nine percent of the time it's it's a okay so uh, this is the one you want so just click on this one and click that download button there now I've just downloaded it here it is so I have got it from my download folders and I've put it in this folder so I just created a new folder called server and here it is so that's that's what it is right there and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create because if you opened it now it would create all the files, so all the files would look like this. I got my test server, but this is what I want to have. I want to have a starter, which is a dot bat file. That way, all of the console will appear in CMD, and I can monitor it. Where if you just clicked on that jar file, it will minimize to a uh, system tray, and that is not what I want. So first of all, I am just going to rename this to Minecraft underscore server because it's easier. Then writing all that gibberish stuff, but yeah, basically. And uh, you want to go file, new, and uh, find text document. And, uh, yes, like that. And you can just open it. It's fine. Just leave it like that. And basically, this will also be in the description. This is it here. You want to copy that from the description, paste it into your Word document. And this is basically tells the server to start up. And this is uh, the location of where your Java is stored. That's general. I'd normally leave that. But this is what the thing you want to worry about. This is how much RAM you want to start the server with. So I'm currently starting with uh, 4 gigabytes here. All the, these are all the numbers, if you didn't know. So that's 1 gigabyte. This is 2, 3, 4, and so on. That's up to eight because I don't think you'd want to be starting at more than eight. Uh, so I've just I'm just generally starting mine on four. Uh, but don't add this bit to your file. You don't need it. Don't worry. Yeah, you don't want that. Uh, so this is what you want. So I can close this, and you could change this to whatever number you want as long as you change them both, and make sure they are the same. It's similar if you've ever done it before to changing your Minecraft to boot up. It's similar to that. You could allocate more um, RAM to your Minecraft uh, client, but this is how you allocate more RAM to your Minecraft server, like this. And then what you want to do is you go File, Save As, and I just like to call it Starter because it makes sense. And you want to you want to type dot .bat right there, right at the end. And then you hit Save, and you can close that. And if you have a look, it's saved in this little format here, and uh, you don't need that anymore so now uh, we can turn on the server and I forgot to mention uh, I'm going to be running my server through uh, log me and Hamachi uh, port forwarding I probably will do another video on how to port forward I have done it but sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it doesn't so all you want to do is double click the starter open this this is all of it loading it's loading generating pairing spawn area Bloody bloody blah, blah, and you get all of these folders. Here they are, and you might be able to hear my computer's roaring up. Yep. So all you need to do, wait for it to say done, and then you want to go onto Minecraft, 
and uh, you can just find your server. Mine's here. That's my log me in address. If you didn't know, but you won't connect to it anyway. And then join the game. And here we are. We're in a server. So this is default. Uh, you don't really get much. You type slash help. Uh, these are all the bucket commands. So it's a bit different to running a normal server. And bucket is it? Don't you dare shoot me! Ah, oh, come here, come here. Right. Uh, let's see. Item. Uh, I don't know if that will work. Give my name. Uh, I don't know what's a sword. Is that a sword? No, I, I'm not even opt. Okay, so first thing you want to do is clearly opt yourself. So you go to your console and type in op and then their name. Uh, if you spell their name right, my name is retarded. Yes, there we go. Or you can either change it in here, this text. You just change it and then save it, and that will work. So now, if I try that command again, it's a spade. I hit him with a spade. It's all good. It's all... Come here. Come here. Come here. No, you don't. Oh, no. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, I thought. That's what I thought. So, yeah. That's that. Once the chunks have loaded, and squids are floating. Fair enough. Right. Throw this. Go away. Don't. No one wants you. Yeah, I kind of do. But anyway. Right. Let's uh, disconnect from that. And let's go back to our server. And uh, to generally stop it, you can either close it. Or, um, I don't really prefer that, I just, if you just type in stop, it saves all the world and stuff, save chunks and everything, and then hit enter again, and it will close it. So now, oh, what do we do now? Look at all these folders. What are all of these? You may say. So, plugins. These are little add-ons you can add on to your server. Uh, they are really, really useful. Uh, that's what most of the good servers use. So this is your world, uh, this is your never world, your end world, this is your ban IPs, you can ban IP addresses or individual players. This is the bucket.yml, this is another thing I'm using called Notepad++, it's a programming software. It just allows you to see if you made a mistake, is it, uh, sometimes it will appear in red and you can see where you've gone wrong. No, don't want to save that. Uh, you got your help. Uh, well, that's normal Minecraft server. Your ops. Oh no, go away. Oh, oh. Uh, permissions. Ah, oh, permissions. They. Eh? They're good fun. They are. Uh, you got your server, which is your server log, which logs everything on your server. It's easier, you could just right click if you have Notepad++ and edit with Notepad++ and you can see it in the way the console kind of views it if you know what I mean, so you can see that I connected uh, where did I connect at that time there and I disconnected at that time there so it's another way to monitor your server even when the server's off uh, this is your server properties so I'm going to change these now so I'm gonna turn never the false world name is going to be world, so you can rename your world, and as long as this is synced with that, it will work. So allow flight, true server port, keep that the same unless you're running uh, with a server host company, then they will already set it for you. Default, that's like you can set it to flat if you want, so any new generation will be uh, flat lands. That's recon, so remote control, which is normally used by servers. Level seed, IP, max height, you can change it, that's 500, but normally it doesn't like to work. Spawn NPCs, the villagers. Uh, you can add a whitelist, so only a select amount of people can join. Uh, I'll go through that too if you want. Uh, spawn animals, snooper enabled. Uh, yeah, you've probably seen all of these, so hard mode. You can add the texture pack, which I will do in a later episode, I think. So you can uh, link a texture pack, so when they join, they can automatically click the yes button, and it will download their texture pack automatically, like in a few seconds, which is really amazing. Right, so you've got online mode, which is basically... Um, if you if you've got friends who might have like pirated copies of Minecraft, which is a bad idea, if you're going to buy it, you might as well buy the full game. Uh, if you select this to false, it means they will be able to join. Online mode means it will just 
uh, if they try and log into your server it will go through Mojang and check their databases to see if you're a registered player that's what that is difficulty and uh, PvP uh, true that's uh, player v player difficulty goes up to 3 so 1 is easy 2 is like medium uh, 0 is peaceful and 3 is hard game mode 0 survival 1 um, creative and 2 adventure Max players, you can set many players as you want, but keep in mind the more players you have on there, the more laggier it will be. Basically, spawn monsters, generation view. I generally keep these two the same. Spawn protection, yeah, that's just the block radius of what you want your spawn. And this is a good one right here message of the day. So, if you may have seen all of these kind of servers, like mine there as a, a colourful message of the day, so I'm going to quickly show you that if I go on this uh, test server and I just grab this bam and I go to here and let's just paste that if you have a look, let's just get rid of that this is a colour code for message of the day so uh, if you may have seen, like in-game formatting codes might look like and and a number or um, letter, yeah, or they have that weird sign which you can't actually get on the keyboard. But this is how you do it for message of the day. So this is the default one you use. So it's always like this for everything, and then you add a number or a letter depending on what color codes you want. So we can, if we want to check the formatting codes of Minecraft, so you type formatting codes and here they all are, that's a weird simple symbol if you wanted uh, so this is what the colors look like so all you do is put that number right where it is here, so let's see if we wanted to have uh, I'm going to say, ooh, this is tricky let's go for, uh, let's go light red it's got to be a red isn't it, and we'll be typing Welcome, and then we paste this bit again. So we copy that, paste that there. That's a space representing a space. Uh, I forgot the seven. That's useful. And then we could choose another code. So let's see. Um, let's go with yellow. Uh, two. Then another code. We will go white. Uh, uh, let's type in my another code and uh, gold which is six and server explanation mark oh yeah so if we save that now rapid click there uh, close that download folder and what was it, it wasn't this one it, it was that one oh, what did I do, I don't know why I done that, okay uh, here it is, here it is uh, so now, if we launch the server again, same way as before, it does it a lot quicker because it doesn't have to generate. So now we've got multiplayer, and there it is, look, in them colours. Them exact colours I chose. It's that easy. And of course, if you wanted to add like a bold, like skit skates, perfect example, uh, I can show you that. So if we just stop the server, and... Go. Right. I don't know what was that. Don't. No idea. And where are they? They are down here. So uh, you can get that, which I don't even know how to pronounce. Uh, yeah, that makes it go all strange like that. This is a good example actually. Okay, right. Forget about the blurriness. I zoomed in 500%. So that's what that does. That makes it random letters around the letter you place. L makes it bold. M puts a strike through. Underline. Um, uh, o is italics. And R resets it. So I can show you the use of that. So if we open the server properties again. And we go down here. Let's change it to other random colors. I don't know what typing in uh, bit of blue um, bit of dark red and we can have let's say 
let's say the what should, what should, let's, should have this bit, let's have this bit. Uh now I believe you can just you just do it straight after again and then with and L. But the way you use the reset code is afterwards because that replaces it. So that will place the whole thing in bold. But we don't want that. We just want the welcome. So if we place it here and we put R, that should reset all the codes again. So now if we save that and we start up a server again and go on it and there we go simple so that is how you do it so welcome to my server that's how you do that alright so uh, thanks for watching guys it's been Red Sky Ruler here uh, stop again so close it comment like subscribe uh, please subscribe to continue watching uh, the series uh, 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 that's what I'm saying sound like a seal demented yes Er, 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 er. Okay, that was retarded. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. Uh, so next tutorial, I will be going over plugins and showing you what they can do and showing you my kind of favorite ones that you kind of mu uh, must have for a server. Uh, so keep an eye out on watching the latest one. So if a quick uh, review of that, let's go here, download, uh, come in here, place it in here, change that to minecraft underscore server go to your uh, notepad document and uh, type in this code which will be in the description below and replace this for the amount of RAM you specifically want to allocate to your server uh, uh, you can check how much RAM you have by going start and then uh, where would it be? Just control panel, and I know the other ways of getting to it. Not normally, this and then where's system? It should be under system. If I could find system, there it is. So you click system, and here you go. Installed RAM right there. So I've got 12 gigabyte. And yes, don't worry, it is 5.9. It's only because of my data hard drive transfer if you're wondering everything else is quite high yeah yeah I thought so yeah all right so comment like subscribe <sighs> bothered a lot in that video yeah okay <laughs> and goodbye